Spartan Fred 104 was one of the 75 candidates conscripted into the Spartan 2 program. Born on April 3, 2511, Frederick Ellsworth's homeworld was Ballast, one of the UNSC's outer colonies. At age 6, he was abducted by ONI agents, conscripted, and spent the next 8 years under intense training. During this time, his leadership qualities were recognized by both Dr. Halsey and Senior Chief Petty Officer Franklin Mendez. Though John 117 was ultimately promoted to squad leader, Fred's leadership skills would be recognized as he was often leading Spartan teams or placed on John's blue team. In 2525, the Spartans underwent a series of brutal augmentation surgeries. Many were killed or crippled. Fred was among the 33 who survived. Not long after the augmentation, Fred was selected for the Spartans' first mission to capture an insurrectionist leader. The mission was a success. A year later, on April 26, 2526, Fred was assigned a blue team when they were deployed to Circinius IV to halt a Covenant invasion. Sadly, all but a few students from the local military academy were killed. In 2535, Fred was deployed to Jericho VII during a Covenant invasion. Though it is unknown what Spartan team he deployed with, the Spartans were able to detonate a nuke on Jericho's surface, taking out a huge number of Covenant soldiers. However, as had often become the case, the planet was ultimately glassed and lost. In 2544, Fred was deployed along with Blue Team as part of Operation Warm Blanket. Dr. Halsey had been kidnapped and the Spartans had to infiltrate a Covenant fleet. When a band of elites showed up to stop the Spartans, Fred used his exceptional knife skills to buy time for John and Kelly to recover the Doctor. Though Halsey was recovered, two Spartans died during the operation. On July 17, 2552, Fred was deployed as a member of Blue Team to take out Covenant forces in the city of Côte d'Azur on Sigma Octanus IV. The Spartans, and this time the UNSC, were ultimately victorious. Then came Reach. Like most surviving Spartan twos, Fred had been called back for Operation Red Flag, an effort to end the Covenant War. When the Covenant showed up on August 30th with a fleet of 300 ships, Fred was put in charge of Red Team and ordered to defend Reach's orbital defense generators. Without them, Reach's orbital supermax would be useless and the planet would fall. On their way to the surface, the Pelican transporting the Spartans was hit, forcing them to bail out prematurely. During the fall to the surface, four Spartans were killed and several more were injured. Upon regrouping at the Orbital Defense Generator Facility A331, Fred received a distress call from Vice Admiral Danforth Whitcomb. With the distress call and UNSC defenses slowly falling, Fred had to divide up his team. Team Alpha Red, comprised of himself, Kelly 087, and Joshua 029, went to destroy a nearby Covenant landing zone. Team Gamma Red, comprised of Anton 044 and two other Spartans, were sent to rescue the Vice Admiral. Team Delta Red, comprised of Will 043 and five severely injured Spartans, were ordered to fall back and hold Castle Base. Finally, Team Beta Red would remain at the ODG facility and defend it. Though they fought with all their might, Beta Red was ultimately wiped out, resulting in the destruction of the ODG facility and ensuring the fall of Reach. Joshua 029 was killed during Alpha Red's operation, Kelly and Fred falling back to Castle Base where they met up with Delta Red and, to their surprise, Dr. Catherine Halsey. Over the next two weeks, the Spartans would hold out as the Covenant continued to glass Reach from orbit, but also searched for an unknown artifact. On September 7th, survivors from the Battle of Installation 04 appeared over Reach, having traveled back in time due to the strange properties of a Forerunner crystal. The two groups reunited and set out to find a safe way back to Earth. It wasn't long before Cortana discovered that the Covenant was amassing a fleet to invade Earth, and the group worked to enact a devastating first strike against the Covenant. Before they could leave, however, Dr. Halsey took a small, slipspace-capable ship and, with an unconscious Kelly on board, departed. Without a way to track her, the group could only continue with their plan to strike against the Covenant. Though several Spartans and soldiers were lost during the operation, the strike resulted in the destruction of almost all 500 ships that made up the invading fleet. The remaining Spartans and Sergeant Avery Johnson headed back to Earth to warn them of the imminent threat. Upon arriving at Earth, Fred, Linda, and Will were called in by Oni for debriefing, John, meanwhile, handling public affairs. Oni debriefed the Spartans collectively and soon after started interrogating Fred on an individual basis. Not long into the interrogation, Fleet Admiral Lord Hood interrupted, citing the recently began invasion of Earth. By this time, John 117 had already been deployed to the surface to defend against Covenant forces. In the weeks following Regret's departure from Earth, Fred took command of Blue Team as they were deployed across the planet to take care of Covenant invasion forces. On November 3rd, a distress call from Dr. Catherine Halsey was received by Lord Hood. Per her request and at the promise of powerful Forerunner artifacts, Blue Team was ordered to the mysterious world known as Onyx. To get there, the Spartans captured a Covenant destroyer, the Bloodied Spirit, as Covenant ships were faster than anything the UNSC could muster, especially now. 
Only hours later, Fred, Linda, and Will arrived on Onyx, where they met with Dr. Halsey, Kelly 087, their former trainer Franklin Mendez, some Spartan threes, and the long-thought dead Kurt 051. Halsey led the group to Onyx's core, where they discovered a Forerunner slipspace portal to a Forerunner shield world and entered. Kurt, severely injured during combat, stayed behind to activate an explosive and deny the Covenant access to the shield world. Once inside, Blue Team and the Spartan Three set out to explore their temporary home and found a cache of Forerunner technologies and Huragok, engineers, left by the Forerunners. With their help, the humans were able to make contact with UNSC and Oni forces, bring the shield world into normal space, and escape. Following this, Blue Team was offered the chance to join the Spartan branch as senior personnel, but declined. In the years that followed, Blue Team would continue to deploy across the galaxy under the leadership of Fred 104, now a Lieutenant Junior Grade, a promotion given to him by Kurt 051 before the latter died. On July 25, 2557, the Master Chief, long thought dead, returned to UNSC space and reunited with Blue Team. Immediately after, they were deployed to Gamma Halo following a communications loss. Despite outranking John, Fred would defer his leadership during the mission and all missions going forward. On Gamma Halo, the team discovered a forerunner called the Didact planning to attack Earth. Thankfully, they were able to stop the Didact and contain him for the time being. Fred and the rest of Blue Team would continue to deploy across the galaxy as needed, but now, in late 2558, Blue Team has gone AWOL and is up to the newly assembled Fireteam Osiris to hunt down and return them to the UNSC. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you, profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.